It's officially time to start exam season. With my daily routine as a medical student to fit the most into each day, stay productive, but also look after myself physically and mentally. This is exactly how I structure each day to achieve the most during what can be a very stressful time. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. So my exam season starts tomorrow and I thought it'd be rude not to squeeze in a study with me, see what I'm up to and how I'm revising for my January medicine exam. For those of you who are new, hello, welcome. My name is Anna and I'm a second year medic at the University of Birmingham and I would absolutely love if you decided to join the family and subscribe. We have all things uni, lifestyle, productivity, medicine, there really just is something for everyone here on this channel and it would mean the world if you click that little button. Anyway, this is just my daily routine of how I've been revising for my exams. This is a kind of 50% of my second year grades, minus a few essays and a few extra exams in May because that is our main exam season, but we do have half of our modules examined now, which is so scary and I am feeling a little bit nervous because everyone knows the Christmas break is never the most productive. However, I've had a really good week getting back into it. I love my exam routine and it really does just help me fit the most into my day. So I wanted to share it all with you, get productive together and have a really good revision day. After doing an hour of revision first thing, I always treat myself to a coffee and an hour off to just enjoy my breakfast, which is of course overnight oats. First thing after breakfast, what I do is sit down and roughly time block my day. Now I do have this big planner which breaks down every single week since I've started revising, it tells me what modules I'm gonna do and then I've also worked out which lectures I need to from which weeks to make sure that I cover all of the content in time. Now tomorrow's exam is actually my PAS exam, which is a very funky exam exam to revise for to be completely honest with you. It stands for personal and academic skills. It's all about breaking down cases, how you're going to work around them, making mind maps, what resources you're going to use. So it's a bit weird but we're going to try and focus on that today and get a couple of hours of that done and then I also want to do a little bit of my immunology module because I'm feeling the least confident about that and like I always say start with what you hate the most. Then I go to my little to-do list and plan out every hour. So I'm going to try and get six or seven hours worth of work done tonight and then we also have an anatomy revision lecture later. This just keeps me accountable, make sure I'm fitting in what I want to do and I am flexible around this because if something goes on a bit longer, if you're getting into it or equally if you're just feeling a bit tired and needs a little bit of a break, there's nothing wrong with going off the to-do list. However, it's just something to keep me on track. Whenever I'm studying to help me keep in deep focus, I like to listen to instrumental music and at the moment I'm loving the Disney playlist. I also pop on the forest app and grow some trees. Again, this just helps me stay motivated and focused. What I did is I went over some practice questions and also my Anki flashcards and anything I got wrong I then spent some time editing the flashcards to make sure I really understood the concepts. After immunology I then spent an hour going over my PAS exam and got some old year notes to go through. I always find the old years are so helpful at explaining things in a slightly different way if you didn't understand your lecture so see if you can get your hands on some because they are so helpful. So I've just stopped revision for the morning to go and get some lunch. It's now actually one o'clock and I can safely say my brain is completely frazzled. Although it was a really good morning, we got done a good amount of my immunology module and also a good amount of prep for my exam tomorrow. I hate revising for this exam though because I didn't do very well last year in this module, but it's actually quite boring and should be quite easy to do. But I really wanna make sure I do enough prep so the exam tomorrow goes better. So I'm forcing myself to do it. For lunch, I've actually meal prepped this chickpea stir fry, which I'm so excited to go and have. I always meal prep my lunches whether I'm at uni, whether I'm at home, whether I'm revising, it just saves me so much time. It means I just go and grab a really healthy lunch, really easy, and then you can just enjoy your break to actually have a chill rather than faffing about what you're gonna go and eat. So I'm gonna go and grab that now, and then we're gonna get on with some more revision this afternoon. After simply just popping my lunch in the microwave, it meant I got the time to properly enjoy a break and some time with the family before forcing myself back to revision for the afternoon. I always find this the hardest part, but breaking the afternoon 
afternoons up makes it a lot easier so it's just gone half at three and normally in my routine what I would love to do now is take myself off to the gym get in a proper workout move my body properly and get in some endorphins however I'm not sure if you can hear it on me but I've been so poorly for the last week I've taken a lateral flow test every single day and I really don't think I do have COVID I just think I'm really under the weather and I went to the gym last week and it completely tipped me over the edge and made me feel so much worse and I really am too scared to go back to the gym before I feel 100% and after a few of my exams are out of the way. So as a compromise, what I'm gonna do instead is grab Max and take him on a walk. It is literally so important to still get in some exercise and move your body during exam season. And I'm gonna take some of my own advice, but I'm just not gonna push it too far because I don't wanna make myself feel any worse. But a little bit of fresh air and a refresh is exactly what we need. I then split the rest of my afternoon up and did half of the time doing practice questions for my immunology module. I use a system called Peerwise, which our university has set up for us, and it's loads of questions written by students for students, so it's really based around our lectures. I then spend the other half revising for my PAS exam and making sure I was really prepared for the next day. It has just gone at six o'clock, and I'm just about to log on for this revision session for anatomy. This is run by the older years, and I have my regional anatomy exam on Thursday, so I feel like it's really good to squeeze in the last bit of practice and I am shattered so there's not a lot else I'm going to be doing and I'm done with a proper revision for the day so we're just doing one last hour before we have a really relaxing evening. I have my whole little routine just to wind down and relax the night before exams but before we can get on with that let's join this revision session and have a little refresh and a practice of anatomy for Thursday. I then went through the revision session a bit like I would a lecture editing my Anki flashcards but also making making notes on anything that I didn't have in a flashcard or really needed to remember on the side before finishing up for the night. It has just gone at seven o'clock and I just finished that revision session, which was so helpful. I always think the old years do such an amazing job of running these sessions. Anyway, right now I am A, starving and B, really hungry. So I'm about to go and get myself some dinner. However, before I finished, I just quickly made sure everything was really organized for tomorrow. So I know exactly what time my exam is, I know exactly what time I'm gonna get up, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna wear. You know me, I love to be organized. And I also downloaded the exam browser and made sure I was all logged into where we're taking our exams. Oh my gosh, I actually don't even think I've mentioned the fact that our exams are now online. They were supposed to be in person, but the university made the decision to move them onto online because of the amount of coronavirus cases. They just didn't feel like it was gonna be feasible or sensible to do. So it's on the same browser that we were using last year. And I actually feel really relieved that I wasn't going in. I was kind of freaking out about having in-person exams because I haven't had them since my A-levels. But it did give me a little bit of a flavour of what it's going to be like because I reckon the summer ones will almost definitely be in person. So it's kind of like eased me into it slowly but we do still have them online. So tomorrow morning I'll be sitting my exam from that little spot there. Anyway, let's go and grab some dinner and then chill out for the evening. For dinner I had my favourite bowl of pasta which there will be a video coming on very soon, all my favourite meal preps. I then did some yoga to properly wind down. I always think the evening before an exam is so important to take the time to look after yourself and get a good night's sleep. So that is a full day in my life studying during exam season. I've now just made myself a hot chocolate and I'm just going to sit in bed and relax for a little bit, run a really long hot bath and of course put in a lush bath bomb. There is nothing like exam season than having a really nice baths or showers. Comment below what your favourite bath products are. I would love to know and try them out but I am obsessed with blush and I actually really just like the little butter bath that is my all-time favorite so I'm gonna go and get my bath now properly relax I also turn all electrics off so unfortunately that means no camera either but I'm gonna get a really early night get to sleep and then get up ready for my first exam I'm gonna vlog my second week of exam season so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that and if you do enjoy coming along for my med school exams please remember to give this video a big thumbs up it makes a huge difference and I hope you'll have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you so soon. Bye!